Hey, this is Brett, and I want to walk through some of the ways to establish social media follow icons using the Divi theme. Uh, follow icons are not the sharing icons. We are not talking about the things that show up on poster pages that allow visitors of your site to share stuff, but these are the ones where they can actually connect with you. And Divi offers some that show up uh, in the menu system of your site, and you can also add them into pages. This is driven off of a theme option initially that's a little bit limited, and I'd like to just show those. So if you have your uh, a handful of different things for Facebook, Twitter, or Google, you can enter in your information, and you can enable by turning on the uh, icons to show each of these, and they will then potentially be visible on a website. And in this case, I'm working on a uh, test site for a client. We've got a couple different places set up. Right now we have some down here at the bottom. And uh, by turning those default uh, social icons on with Divi, uh, Divi will actually display these symbols over here. I was looking for something a little different though. I was looking for something more like what I have under the phone numbers, not these defaults that come with Divi here or the defaults that come over here in the top. And those are the two primary things. I do have a, a, a plugin called Divi Booster. It's a $20 plugin and allows you to use these on unlimited sites and it can give you some extra uh, options with uh, some of the icons that you can use. You can come in and add additional uh, accounts that you might want to link into like LinkedIn or YouTube or something of that nature. But placement is the challenge and on a client site, I didn't want them just to be over here on the right, and I didn't want them just to be at the top of the site like I have them on my own website up here for this particular client account. We wanted to have them down at the very bottom, and we wanted them centered. That centering part was a bit of a trick, as you will see, but I'm going to show you that trick and go from there. So to show you the trick, there's a great little module that does come in the Divi Builder. So I'm in a new page and I'm looking at the Divi Builder. If I go to insert a module, I can come down here and I can scroll until I find the social media follow module. I'm gonna click that. And at this point, I can come in and I can set up a number of different things. I can set the color of the icon that I want. I can select the network that I want to include. I can paste in the account URL for that icon. And you'll notice when you do that, depending on the network, it will uh, default in a color that it thinks you might want to use for that uh, particular thing. So in this case, it's using the Google Plus red color. Now, I don't really want Google Plus's red color. I want a specific uh, color that's branded uh, for my client's sites that you can see down here. And just to grab that color code in case we weren't aware of it, I can come in and I can uh, inspect uh, the CSS elements to find uh, that color, which is what I'm going to do real quick. We'll select on, uh, uh, here we go. So we're going to come in, we're going to grab this color, copy paste it in. And this is, um, they're trying to be intuitive and guess what you might want is the default. In this case, we don't want the default, so we have to override uh, their default setting, but you know, it's another piece of the trick. And then we save it. And that uh, makes a temporary save in this module setting. We can then repeat our efforts and we can put in uh, another account. In this case, put in Twitter for this particular client. And we don't want the default color for Twitter. We want our branded color in this particular case. And now we've got two icons. Now, the default for Divi uh, is uh, these letters, these icons that you see over here where the icon is colored in and the color that you set as opposed to uh, other options. When we use the module, we have uh, other options on what we might choose. We can pick a, a rectangle or a circle. And I'm going to go with a circle. We can pick a uh, text color. I'm going to go with light. Uh, we can set whether or not this should open in a new tab or the same window. 
uh, we can also add a follow uh, button, an additional button that says follow, which helps people see that these are not sharing uh, icons, but actually for following. And I'm just going to review a couple of these real quick, and I'm going to hit save and exit for this page. I'm going to give this page a quick, uh, just a, a quick temporary name, not something I'm going to use in the future. I'm going to save it as a draft because eventually I'm going to delete this page. What I'm doing here is I'm creating uh, the icon setup. And I'll show you what that looks like. So on this page, if I preview it, it's just going to have uh, a page with our icons present at the top, these two icons uh, right here. And in this case, I want to copy those because let's say I want to put icons uh, on my site like I have done here. I've already done this, so I'm, I'm doing this to show how I did it. So I'll come in again and inspect the element. And oh, browser's going just a little slow there for a second. So I'm gonna expand uh, these items just a little bit. And I wanna drill in until I get to the, the unordered list of HTML. And instead of looking at the CSS, I don't care about that. I want to right click and I wanna copy as, copy the HTML uh, for these particular items. Now, what am I going to do with that? So, from here, I can come in and I can create a text widget, and I could add these to widgets if I wanted to use them in, uh, in widgets on the sidebar. So, if I come up here and I expand my available widgets, and come down to text, and let's say I wanted to uh, add it to the footer area sidebar, I'm going to put it in footer number two, and I think footer number one might be blank, so I'm going to add a text box to footer one as well. In Divi, if you don't have a footer, this might be a universal wide thing for uh, WordPress, I'm not entirely certain, but if you don't have something in the first footer, it will the items in the second footer will roll into the space allocated to the first footer. So I want to fill up that first footer area, so I'm going to save that. So footer one has got something in it, but I want something in footer two. In this case, I'm going to come in and I'm going to paste all that HTML. Uh, maybe I've done that a little quick. Uh, I'm going to right click and paste or control V to paste it in and hit save. And at this point, uh, I'll double check a couple things. Let's see, refresh our page and see if I have footers turned on in this uh, Divi theme yet. And the footers are turned on, and now you can see that these icons load right in the center of the page uh, up here. Now, you're, you may be wondering, how did I get these icons down here in the first place, uh, the ones that are already down there? I did that using a positioning system in the footer that Divi Booster, that same plugin that I mentioned before, allows us to do. So, in Divi Booster, this is basically a plugin that gives you many, many additional options uh, to make Divi the theme, uh, do some special stuff. And one of those is in the, uh, the footer section down here. We can choose to replace the footer links. Uh, these are the links that oftentimes will say, give credit to Elegant Themes and WordPress. Uh, if you don't want that, you can rewrite it with your own text. And so I've done that, and you can see I've previously come in and I've pasted in a list of all these social media follow buttons that I wanted to show up on the site, plus some other things, uh, helping people to find our feed links and uh, a quick site map link as well to the site. I'll refresh this page just so that you can see our new uh, footer that shows up too. So with those two icons that we've just added on the fly. So we've got everything here. Now, I'm gonna point out something this drove me a little nuts until I got some help from Elegant Themes. When I first set this up, these icons would not center for anything. They kept showing up over on the left, and uh, this was not a simple solution. I went into the Facebook forum to, uh, for Divi users and got some insights there that helped uh, point me in a direction of, of doing a whole bunch of CSS to figure out the breakpoints. That was not the best path to follow. Uh, and I created a ticket asking Divi for some better guidance on that. 
And the guidance they gave eventually got me to a much more elegant solution, uh, a whole lot simpler. Uh, Karen B. at Elegant Themes uh, shared with me this little bit of CSS, which I copied and then went into my uh, Divi custom CSS section. If you're not familiar with that, when you're logged into your site, you come down to uh, Divi and expand that out, uh, and then you can see theme options. That'll take you to this page, and when you're on the general tab, if you're not already there, oops, clicked the wrong one, let me, I must have bumped something there real quick. We'll fix that quickly. So theme options, and scroll down all the way to the bottom, you'll have a custom CSX, CSS, not CXX, uh, section. You can drag to expand that if you like. And I placed this little bit of code provided by uh, Karen right, or right over here. Save those changes. I have done some other CSS work on the site as well. And that's what centers these icons right in the middle of of whatever section they end up showing up in, even in responsive situations now. Uh, making them responsive was a little tricky. Now there's a footer, it's wrapping. The icons that we just added are centered within the footer, which the footer itself is wrapped, goes to the left. I did not want that effect, which is why I used that Divi Booster to put them right down here. If I'd use the default options, I'd have the icons here and I didn't want that either. So this is why I've done it. I could also, uh, if I wanted to, I could put these follow icons on a sidebar on the blog or something like that. Client did not want that in this case, so we didn't do that, but this is how I did it. $20 plugin that you can use on any Divi installation, uh, Divi Booster, and uh, the CSS tricks here. I'm gonna share those in the description in case you want to find them, or you can find them on my site at softdoit.com. And if you're interested, I have a uh, Divi theme uh, plugin in, uh, installation special. If you need somebody to install these for you, I will be happy to do some work for you under my own license and install uh, Divi theme for a fee of $45. And that also includes the Divi Booster plugin. Or if, uh, if you'd rather buy these yourself and have your own license, as opposed to hiring me as your developer to install them, uh, you can come in. Uh, to my site if you like. Do a quick search on Divi and you'll find some articles that will guide you uh, in this direction. Oh look, I, it looks like I've still got my sale going on for $40. So if you wanted a little less uh, for the month of December, you can get this in $40. And I hope this helps uh, for anyone out there that happens to uh, need this particular solution.